Greetings to all and welcome to this series of videos on how to make your life simpler, better, easier and faster in Apex, Oracle Apex. In this video, we'll show you how to create two submission forms in the same page. We are going to use the example of our database where we were having tables, courses, persons, admin, and so on. And in this database, we are interested in the two tables, persons and uh, lecturer. Now, when you see persons, you will notice that the ID, person ID, is needed inside the lecturers to create the lecturer's record. So we need a form where a person will be able to input the data for the person, username, full name, phone number, gender, and also input the data for the lecturer, the title, the office number, and the person ID. So one part of the form will input the person and the other second part second part of the form will put the lecture and what is also important here is once a record has been inserted inside the person table the id will have to be picked up so that it is the same id that is inserted in the table and lecturers as the foreign key so what we notice when we went to apex when we go to apex you can see that the pages are starting from page number one up to page number 12 which means that the next page should be page number 13. let's go back to our work to now see how can we quote those two e submission that uh, submission forms that are in the same page in the in the way that the record can be inserted inside the person and the person ID from that inserted record is used in the second submission form to also create a lecturer. You will need to have this piece of code. We will show you later on where to put it, but remember we said page 13 is the next page the piece of code is starting with is a pl sql code it's starting with the declaration of a variable new person id which type is it is the type same type as the field person id in the table person then we said the first part of the task is to insert record in the person using the data using which values the values that they will be taken from the data page those are those values we'll see them there on the data page when we build the data page and when we insert we will return a person id and we'll put it its value inside the, the variable new person id now when we go into the second insertion to insert data into the lecturers we want to insert the title the office number these two are taken from the page but the person id is actually the same person id that was inserted here is the one that we are going to use to put it here as person ID. So we will need this code and we are going to use it when we build our two pages. Now we can go back and build those two pages. We go back to Apex. We want to create a page. We click on create a page and the page that we are creating is a form except that the form will have two will make it may have a two and what we were saying it is page number 13 so everything is fine we will call it uh, 
input we are starting by inputting the details the new staff new lecturer details that is what with the new lecturer this step but the first part on top is not as a lecturer is as a person so we'll call it we we'll call it new lecturer person details very very good from there we are going to choose which table is a table person since we want to start by putting the person details person let's go down is here now that we have chosen the person detail we can carry on is this table yes the primary key is person id the secondary school p good navigation i think in the past we were looking at the navigation just go back let's try to sort the issue of the navigation the navigation here we want to put it with no breadcrumb and the navigation who is the parent i remember the parent we are trying to say the admin will be able to create a new lecturer so we will put it here and we can now carry on create new and we can go to next once we are in next now the rest we can just go next very very good the page has been or is being created the page is being created it is still turning let's wait for the page to be created it's still turning the page is still being created let's wait for it yes the page has been created now that we are in the page we want to duplicate it so that we can have a second part where the person will be created how do we duplicate this is the creation of the new lecturer if we right click on it we can duplicate i'm going to do it again i'm going to duplicate the new lecturer is being duplicated so when i come here now this let's pay attention i'm moving to the right it's no more the table person yes it is a form but we don't want it to be a form on the table person we want it to be a form now on the table lecturer very very good now if i scroll down you can see these have changed always the primary key p13 lid we want it to be hidden hidden and the second thing once we have declared that is hidden we need to go and say it is the primary key very very good i saved the work what else do we have to do if you look at the two regions you'll see that this region and the other one let's just run it and see how it looks i'm going to log in as the admin i'm logging in yes this is how it looks which looks good the first one is input new lecturer person and the second one input new lecturer person so we need to change this one so that it should be input new lecturer staff details so i'll close it and i'll go there and i am going to change it slightly here to call it staff details new lecturer staff details 
on top we are capturing the details as a person and at the bottom we are capturing the details as a staff very very good so from there we should have a button create which is at the bottom of everything you create your persons when you have input the data from the person and the data from the lecturer so what i'll do is to go to the components and right click to see if we can create a button if we create a button the button is at the bottom so we can now come here and rename it when I click on it, I can go to that side and call it create. Then enter has been created. So you can see create. And uh, what else can I do? I can now delete the other creates. Cancel and so on. I'll just delete them. I'll go to the other one and I will delete it. I'll go to the other one and I will delete it. I'll go to the other one and I will delete it. Now from here, I will just make this one a little bit hot. In the appearance the button, I'll make it hot. In the appearance, and you can see how it looks. If I save it and run it, we will just see how it looks now. You can see input new lecturer person details and below we will have input new lecture staff details. And from here, the person ID, yes, we need to hide it also. The person ID needs to be hidden because once the person created the lecturers as a person, the ID will come automatically from this and it will be fitted here. So let me go and write the person ID. I can now close, quickly go to the person ID. And from here, I am going to hide it. The person ID is hidden. Very good. Let me save it and run it. Very good. So how does it look like the person will enter the username, the full name, and so on. And there, the title and the office number. And once you create, you click on create, the, co the tables will be filled in with a new record for a person and a new record for a lecturer. We thank you. Next time, we'll show you how to code the necessary logistics so that the record can be created. We thank you.